Today's topic is multiplying binomial radical expressions. Example number one. Six square root of three plus five is a binomial radical expression. And two square root of three minus four is also a binomial radical expression. To multiply these two binomial radical expressions, we can use the FOIL method. First term times first term. 6 times 2 is 12. Can we multiply 3 by 3? Yes, we can, according to this law of radicals. The nth root of A times the nth root of b is equal to the nth root of a times b. We can multiply the radicands as long as the index of the first expression is the same as the index of the second. The index of square root of 3 is understood to be 2. And the index of square root of 3 here is also understood to be 2. So, this is equal to 12 square root of 9. And then, outer terms. 6 square root of 3 times negative 4 is negative 24 square root of 3. And then, inner terms. Positive 5 times 2 square root of 3 is 10 square root of 3. Then the outer terms. Positive 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Then combine the terms that are similar. These uh, two terms are similar because they have the same radicand here. Square root of 3, square root of 3. So we have now 12 times 3. The square root of 9 is 3. And then negative 24 Positive 10 is negative 14. And then the square root of 3 minus 20. 12 times 3 is 36. Minus the 14 square root of 3 minus 20. 36 minus 20 is 16. So then minus 14 square root of 3. So the answer is 16 minus 14 square root of 3. Example number 2. Multiplying conjugates. Conjugates are expressions that differ only in the sign of the second terms. These uh, two binomial radical expressions are conjugates because they differ only in the sign of the second terms. The second term of the first binomial radical expression is positive 3 square root of 5 and the second term of the second binomial radical expression is negative 3 square root of 5. The sign here is positive and the sign here is negative. The two terms differ only in signs. To multiply these two binomial radical expressions, we can use the FOIL method or we can use this pattern. a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So we have 7 squared minus the square of the second term. 7 squared is equal to 49. And then 3 squared, which is 9. And then this is square root of 25, which is the 5. 5 times 9 is 45. Or you can uh, do it this way. 3 square root of 5 times 3 square root of 5. 3 times 3 is 9. And then 5 times 5 is 25. So 9 times the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5, and then 5 times 9. So we have here 
minus 9 times 5. This is equal to 49 minus 45. 49 minus 45 is equal to 4. So the answer is 4.